Welcome to today's tutorial on creating an inflated text or other object thanks to the balloon tag. So let's take a look at what we are going to create today. If you want to support me, you can download the file for this project. The link is in the description. What we need to start is an object not too dense, but dense enough to get a better result with the simulation. First, let's create a text object. You will find it under the cloner here. Align to the middle and type anything you want. Here I'm going with C4D. Now we can choose the font. I will go with Helvetica rounded. To make the font object a bit more rounded, we can put the text object inside a volume mesher. So you can find them here. So the builder, the mesher. Put the builder inside the mesher and finally our text inside the builder. First let's change the voxel size of the volume builder to get a better resolution. Put one. Now we can add a SDF smooth here to have these rounded edges. Play with the voxel distance as well. We can check if our text is not too dense, so go to display here, hidden line. If you need, you can adjust the voxel size so the mesh isn't that dense. So to handle that, we can throw our volume here inside a remesh. So go here and choose remesh, put the volume in, and now we can decrease the mesh density. Polygon number is important for simulation. We don't want too much, but we need some to get the best result. Let's bake our model, select the remesh here, right click, current state to object. Put the volume inside a null, call it backup, and hide it. Now we have our text mesh that we can break into three different pieces. So do select the mesh, shift plus C and type island, choose polygon island. All our objects are now separated. Now let's put all our axis in the center of every single letter. So, select them all, go to Tool, Axis Center, then Execute. We can now place the letters where we want. Once it's placed like you wish, we can add a balloon tag to every single object. Select them all, right click, simulation tags balloon. If I play the animation, everything is going to fall. So to change that, we can hit Ctrl plus D, then go to the simulation tab, select scene and put the gravity to zero. We have our objects floating right now, and if we want these to inflate, we have to go to the Balloon tab here and modify the overpressure. This is basically how much pressure is inflating our geometry. Let's put 4. Now if we hit play, everything is inflating. Expansion time is to manage how many frames the inflation will last in time. Leave it at 30 frame, but you can put whatever you want and make some tests. Be careful not to put a small number here or things will be messy. We can add more interest in our simulation by adding wrinkles, so to do so we have to go to the surface tab here. Increase the bendiness to 10. The more number you have here the more your object is going to bend on itself. Change the target length to 110 as well. This is going to expand the vertices beyond 110 of the initial state. Now if I play the animation, you will see some wrinkles appears. What we can do next, it helps our geometry to stay where the initial position is. Go to Mix Animation tab and check the Width Force box here. Leave it to 1. This is basically how much is going to try to maintain his original state.
Let's increase the target length to 120% here, so we have more wrinkles. Also, if we have some weird interactions here, we can hit Ctrl plus D again and go to Simulation tab, then Simulation. Here we can increase some value to have a better simulation. Change the collision's passes, put 4. We can also change some values here to smooth and relax the animation. To add more interest, we can animate each letter with a Vibrate tag. Select the three objects here, right-click, Animation Tags, Vibrate. Enable the position and rotation. Adjust the frequency as well. And to randomize the seed here on every single object, we can type in num times, then any number. Now change the values on the position and rotation. And there we go. That's how simple you can inflate any object you like inside Cinema 4D. Don't forget that you can find the project file in the description. This file comes with the lights set up and materials. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you have learned something today and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. See you on the next video.